Elon Musk's most famous creation, Tesla, is fast becoming a household name. Most of us have seen one, many of us aspire to own one, and some of us even drive one. We're talking about Tesla's road-going cars, the Model 3, Model S, Model Y and Model X, not forgetting the recent Roadster and Cybertruck, of course. But in this video, we will explore what it is to own a Tesla and why the company is about more than just selling cars. Let's turn our attention to one of the world's most successful companies ever. Apple launched with the Mac, then brought personal music devices to the masses before revolutionizing the smartphone. Everything that Apple has launched has been game-changing in one way or another. And now the focus has turned away from product and towards services, like the just-launched Apple One subscription. Customers do not simply own and use an Apple device. The chances are they have multiple devices and are subscribed to a number of services. They are living in the Apple ecosystem. Elon Musk is in the early stages of this hyper-successful business style and is in the middle of launching a whole range of game-changing products to the masses. We've discussed Tesla's cars in other videos, but what else is Tesla focusing on? Quarter 2 of 2020 saw Musk confirm the launch of a proprietary app store for his brand's cars. Currently, there are a variety of features and Easter eggs built into Tesla's infotainment system, which are set out to demonstrate what is possible, but this is set to expand. The goal would be not only games and quirks like the whoopee cushion, but entertainment and productivity tools as well. This means that in the not-too-distant future, when driverless cars become a reality, we will be able to pick up where we left off on our favourite Netflix show, or maybe continue to work on that important document on the way to the office. Who knows, the driver-facing safety camera could also be integrated as part of the software for those all-important Zoom meetings. Some cars in the market are starting to integrate some smart assistant features, such as Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa services, but at the moment there are no other proprietary app stores out there, especially with this range of potential. Tesla is already renowned for its over-the-air updates, and if the App Store gets the go-ahead, it will likely arrive via this method. But remember, Tesla's not just about cars. Musk has his eyes firmly set on your house, too. Think about it for a second. Where's your power coming from? The electricity that supplies your lights, your appliances. It could even be charging your electric car. Is it coming from renewable sources? Do you even know where it's coming from? You could not only know, but be in control of your own energy production with Tesla's solar panels. Just like the cars, design was a key part of the engineering process. Unlike many solar panels, there is no visible grid on them, so following a quick glance they look like big black surfaces. Still an obvious addition to your roof, but maybe more pleasant to look at? They're also low profile and have a concealed edge, which means a frame surrounds the entire setup to make it look more slick. Elon Musk wanted to make the process of buying and installing solar panels as hassle-free as possible. The process described on their website describes how the company will take over the stressful parts on your behalf, including surveying the house, acquiring permits and liaising with the city and utility company. A 25-year performance guarantee reassures any potential owners that this could be the right decision for their home. So how exactly does this setup work? Energy is drawn from the solar panels when they can provide enough, and any surplus requirements are fulfilled by the grid. A power wall helps reduce reliance upon the grid by acting as one giant battery for your house. Any excess solar energy can be fed into this, which can tolerate fluctuations in solar supply and demand. It also serves as a backup generator, powering your house in the event of an outage thanks to a 10% reserve held especially for this. Have no doubt that this, just like the rest of Tesla's lineup, will be able to receive over-the-air updates too. Tesla recommends that most customers install two or three 12.2 kilowatt hour power walls, which cost around $5,500 each before installation. To put this in perspective, a Model S has a battery of at least 70 kilowatt hours, more than five times a single power wall. And let's not forget we're living in 2020, where there is an app for everything. Everything, including your Tesla energy system. You can monitor and control your power resources from this app, but Musk went one step further with on-device machine learning, which gets to know your energy usage patterns. This is really useful for people who pay two different energy tariffs, day and night. Don't you wish, though, that there was a way to be eco-friendly without shouting about it? A way without having to put unsightly solar panels on your roof or having to stick a giant wind turbine in your back garden? News just in, there is a way. Musk has been at it again, and this time introducing a game-changing solar tile system. He calls it the solar roof, and it's made up of mini panels that are made in the shape and style of regular roof tiles. This system doesn't sit on top of the roof, but replaces it, so it's great for people replacing their roof already or for new builds. Another 25-year warranty is backed up with the company's claim that the solar roof tiles are actually three times stronger than standard roof tiles. The story is very much the same. From the moment of purchase, Tesla and its subcontractors will take care of removing the old roof, ensuring and laying a good waterproof membrane and installing the new panels. The tiles measure 15 by 45 inches and should withstand winds of over 160 miles per hour. 
Remember when the Model S launched, it was positioned as a high-end saloon, a dream car for many and obtainable by a handful? The theme carries over to the company's household solar ventures. The brand remains competitive with industry standards, which are generally high and unachievable for many. Still, he says that these systems can be paid back for in a matter of a few years. But let's jump back to cars for a moment. Let's just imagine that you've bought yourself a new Tesla, a Model S for example, which Musk recently, and humorously, adjusted the price of to $69,420. You're now almost $70,000 worse off than you were in a car that's depreciating by the day and are probably saving up for your next replacement Tesla in a few years. You drive this Tesla to and from work when you're not working from home and occasionally to the supermarket. The rest of the time, your Tesla is sat stationary, losing value. Why not turn this wasted time into profit? A gig market model similar to Uber and Airbnb, which have brought some pretty fortunes to many users, Musk expects robo-taxis to roam our roads as soon as this year. The service allows Tesla owners to add their vehicles to the network and rent them out as self-driving taxis. Admittedly, he foresees some concerns with this, in that the rolling out of robo-taxis will be staged and could take years without even reaching some markets due to self-driving regulations. The company will take around a quarter or a third of profits from the car owners in return. The best thing? All new Teslas have been shipping with the correct hardware to future-proof the company's plans. It's a matter of a famous over-the-air update to add missing features. As Musk explains, the fleet wakes up with an over-the-air update. That's all it takes. Every good businessman finds the solution to a problem that doesn't even exist yet, and this CEO is no different. His plans are underway to resolve the charging concern, which would involve some sort of wireless or automated charging facility which requires no human intervention. In other words, a self-driving, self-charging car. Just last year, we were promised at least a million of these robo-taxis on our roads by the end of 2020. But April saw CEO Elon Musk admit that punctuality has never been his strong point and that he is unlikely to deliver on this huge promise. Nevertheless, he did express that his visions become a reality in the end, even if it takes a little or a lot longer. And with what we've seen so far, this is generally quite true. These are just some of the most prominent and key products and services offered under the Tesla logo. But to become what it is today, Musk worked hard building, selling and making public various previous companies. As with almost any company, Tesla receives its inspiration and goals from its CEO. And we already know that Elon Musk is an outrageously optimistic guy with ridiculous plans. But it's not just Tesla that he has a say in. With SpaceX also being one of his prized possessions, a company which aims to standardize and normalize space travel, as well as exploit these natural resources that we haven't yet tapped into. Starlink, for example, is a low-latency global satellite internet constellation that some of us have been lucky enough to spot earlier this year. Comparing both of Musk's companies side by side, it's clear that his goals are around mobility, autonomy and tapping into natural resources. And we can only guess where he may go next. Will it be other forms of power? Hydroelectricity, wind, geothermal activity? Will it be new types of transport? Will Elon Musk be the first to introduce flying cars? What's to say that concentrations and efforts will turn away from the road and to the sky or the water? Boats, submarines, planes, trains, they could all play a role in Musk's vision for improved mobility. Although we don't know this, we know one thing. He is likely to be the first at doing what he will do next, and it will likely be a pioneering event that will guide his plans as well as other companies' plans for years to come.